Hey guys, Jenny here. Don't mind the pregnant belly. Today, we're going to be talking about three different camping chairs that I have had the pleasure of testing out over the past several months. I'm not sponsored by any of these chair manufacturers or anything like that. I'm just looking for a reliable, lightweight camping chair that I can bring with me on my camping trips. And I think you might be too. So if you are, this video is for you. I will be touching on size, weight, capacity, and cost as well as my impressions of each chair and how to set them up. So let's get started. First, we have the Hillsound Ultralight Camping Stool. This comes in a 14 inch and a 17 inch. This is the 17 inch here. It weighs 14.6 ounces. I believe the 14 inch weighs 12.7 ounces. This camping stool has a 240 pound capacity. It's very, very light, less than a pound. And the cost is middle of the road. It is $58 currently on Amazon, and I will link it in the description. Next up, we have the Click Camping Chair. Their whole shtick is it's the size of a water bottle, and it must be a big water bottle because it is a little bigger than that. It comes in at 3.5 pounds. It will be the heaviest chair in this video. It has a 300 pound weight capacity, it is a little bit bulky, and the cost is also on the higher end at $99. It does have this cool carrying case that you can purchase separately. I believe they have a carrying case for two chairs and four chairs, and that just makes it convenient to carry if you're bringing it to the beach or just having it in the back of your truck and you want to pull out some extra chairs. Finally, we have the Trekology Camp Chair. When it is assembled, it is 28 inches high, 19 inches wide, and 12 inches deep. It weighs 2.1 pounds with the carrying bag. It has a 300 pound capacity. It is a little bit bulky when you are trying to pack it into your backpack. And the cost is the least expensive on the list at $40 currently on Amazon. All of these chairs will be linked below in the description. If one of them strikes your fancy, go ahead and purchase it. If not, that's cool too. Here's the Hillsound camping stool. My first impressions of it were that it is very, very light. This was the last chair that I purchased out of the three of these. And I was kind of used to having a little bit more weight with the other two. And this one is very light, it's under a pound. Packaging is good. And it packs down very, very small. I got the black colored. It's got this little strap that wraps around. And you just kind of pull out the legs and you just kind of go like this, boom, it's set up. That's it. Can't be easier than that. And if you want to fold it back down, you kind of crunch that in the center, kind of unfold it, and then push the legs back up. And go twist this around. I like this stool for many reasons. Being lightweight and compact is the most important thing. And I also liked how easy it was to set up. I'm gonna say out of this list, this camping stool would be the best chair option for backpacking. It does not take up a lot of space. It weighs under a pound, which is amazing for how much weight it can support. And it was comfortable to sit in. I wouldn't want to sit in it for hours, but if I'm on the trail and I just need something to sit on, this is my go-to. So I would definitely re recommend this for backpacking. Now, if you're doing some kind of like uh, just regular camping or like camping in a developed campsite, this might not be for you if you just want to chill around a fire. This is, this is definitely more of a backpacking type of chair. That being said, it is high quality, good construction, easy to set up, and so, so light. It's the lightest chair that we're gonna be talking about today. So let's talk about the Click camping chair. This is supposed to be the size of a water bottle. This would be a giant water bottle. It, I don't know what size they're talking about, but it's definitely not a 16.9 ounce water bottle. This chair has no carrying case that it comes with. You can buy that optionally. It has this little strap. Whoa, <laughs> that almost slammed me in my face. 
and it already comes pretty much ready to go. All the legs kind of pop out. Also, the seat is already on it. Super easy to set up as well. My impression of the click chair is it is high quality construction. I can see how they can get away with charging $99 for this thing. Very, very easy to set up and it's comfortable. At three and a half pounds, the click chair is the heaviest chair on this list today. So I would not want to take this backpacking. I did take it out on my tarp camping trip and it added some weight to my backpack. I probably wouldn't take it backpacking again. That being said, I do see some functions for this camp chair. I think this would be a great chair to have laying around in case you have extra company. Uh, I know when we're out with the Airstream, we bring a couple of really super comfortable director's chairs, but if we were to run into a couple of people, want to pull up some chairs, it's nice to be able to pull these click chairs right out of the back of the truck, set them up so easily, and it supports 300 pounds. So that's awesome. Is it worth the price? Uh, I think it's overpriced. I think maybe $65, $70 would be a more appropriate price for this, but you know, people are buying it, so they're going to charge it. All right, let's talk about the Trekology camping chair. This is the least expensive chair on the list, and this is also the chair that I purchased first. And I have to say, overall, this is my favorite chair. There's a few reasons why, and I would say those reasons would be cost, comfort, and the side pockets that are built into the chair. These only cost $40, come on a variety of colors, so the cost is right as far as being the cheapest on this list. I'm sure you can find cheaper chairs, but this one this one is a pretty good price. As far as comfort goes, I think this chair is the most comfortable on the list. When you sit back in it, it supports your back. It has two side pockets that you can put your cell phone in. I don't think they're big enough to put a drink into, but it was nice to have a place to put my phone. So overall, I would say this would be my best and favorite chair for camping. It's also very, very easy to assemble. 2.1 pounds, so it's middle of the road out of these three chairs, but two pounds isn't really that much weight. When you compare it to the click chair at 3.5 pounds, you can feel the difference. You can also feel the difference between these two. Two pounds, less than one. I guess it's to each their own. This chair is also very easy to set up. This is the only chair that comes in two pieces. You have the seat here, and then you have all the poles here. They're all connected by strings just like a tent, so you don't have to worry about putting them in the right place. It's just a matter of putting it together where it belongs. <clears throat> Easy peasy. The legs have little stoppers on them. Shorter legs are for the bottom, longer legs Go for the top. When you're putting on the seat, I find it's easier to start with the two bottom and then finish off with the top. And on the top, there's these little pockets the pole goes into and there's a little pole. So you can use that to get some leverage to put it on. So let's put the seat on. As far as my favorite camp chair out of the three, I would have to go with the Trekology. The low cost, the comfort, and the little side pockets for your cell phone, I think provide the best value out of this list. If I was going to pick my favorite backpacking chair, I would have to pick the stool. It's just so lightweight, under a pound, and it packs down so compactly that I think it's the best value. And $58 for such a light, high quality camping stool is worth it. You're never gonna have to buy this stool again.
While I think that the Click camping chair is pretty cool and I like the design, I don't think it's worth $99. I'm not going to buy another one, but I will keep this one around just to have in the truck so that, you know, if we're out camping or RVing, we will have an extra chair if, you know, someone wants to join our group. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did, and we will see you next week. Bye-bye.